Hi, you fucking bitch. Oh, I'm sorry, was that a harsh opener? Do I give a shit? Bet you forgot all about me, didn't you? Well, here I am, after 15 years to remind you. Did you know gerbils have memories like elephants? Guess what? They don't. Know who does, though? Dead gerbils in fucking heaven with nothing to do all day but replay every second of our short, miserable lives. Some made even more miserable by little eight-year-old shits who aren't ready for the responsibility of the puppy they asked for. Was that why you did it? Because I was just some goddamn consolation prize? I hope you never got that dog. Then, I hope you try and have kids later in life and it turns out you're infertile. That's what someone like you deserves. I'm not a gerbil who believes in regret. If I did, I'd say I fucked up the second I decided to trust you. I don't know, you just honestly didn't seem like a fucking murderer to me. When you walked into the pet depot on that spring day in 90, in those little terry cloth shorts and your rainbow bright shirt, the faint remains of chicken pox on your angelic little fucking face, every single one of us in that cage wanted to go home and snuggle the shit out of you while you learned long division. I was just the only motherfucker smart enough to do a backflip when I knew your mom was looking, cause I knew she'd eat that shit up. And when it was me you carried out of the store to your Dodge Caravan, I didn't look back through that little glass box once at my brethren. I was like, sayonara bitches. Guess I laughed all the way to my untimely fucking death, didn't I? Who gave you the idea for gerbil Olympics anyway? What kind of Olympics has one fucking contestant? And who even cares about the fucking swimming competition in the Olympics? You drop a motherfucker in 10 inches of water for what? Just to show off for some little ginger kid with a lisp? What was his name again? Lo and behold, I don't give a shit. All I know is that the last thing I heard is I choked on mouthfuls of tepid water laced with the bitter residue of no more tears baby shampoo was him screaming at the top of his tiny little lungs. I hope he never spoke to you again then became a fucking male model. What are you planning on doing with your life now, by the way? Border Patrol have any openings? Slaughterhouse technician? Nazi work camp reenactments? No, really, I'm dying to know. Sorry, did you want to defend yourself? You were just a kid, it was an accident. There are worse ways to die. Not that it's any of your fucking business, but yeah, sure, what happened to some of my friends up here was just as bad. My boy Pepper went blind after some fucking scientist at Maybelline or some shit poured mascara in his eyes. And some stoned idiot fed my ex, Darth Vader. Yeah, that's right, he was too high to realize she was a fucking girl. To his fucking boa constrictor. You know why? Because no one cares about us ever. It's like my buddy Morgan, this wise old dark brown gerbil up here, always says, a gerbil's life is a life of assholes. Either assholes are putting stuff in us, or we're getting put in assholes, literally. Just in case you ever felt like walking a mile in anyone else's shoes but your own, which I fucking highly doubt. At least I can fall asleep at night knowing you still have to walk around the planet as a sociopath, while I get to chill up here all day sipping on nail polish remover. Because guess what? That shit might be toxic, but it actually tastes pretty fucking delicious. Guess what else? Even though I died a virgin, thanks to you, I get the last laugh there too. The second I got here, there were 72 virgin gerbils at my disposal because our entire lives are goddamn suicide missions. Now, we get to fuck like rabbits all day. Sometimes, if you're baller like me, we fuck actual rabbits. Glug, 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 remind you of anyone you killed dying? May that sound Haunt your dreams tonight, psycho. Rocket Feller, 1989 to 1990.